Hey, Shalom. I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakaq Wadash. Shabbat Shalom. <clears throat> give uh, double honors to our apostles slash elders, which are GMS, and blessings and salutations to your brothers out there teaching truth and sincerity. Uh, this is a, um, you know, the, the teaching things. I, w I wouldn't say teaching things, which they are not. But they're twisting the scriptures, and it's, this is a blatant example. Because modern day people, um, as I was talking with somebody a couple of days ago, is is basically people understand the Bible based off of uh, modern reality, even though the Bible is um, written uh, as an eternal book, and it should and it definitely should apply to all times. But some things, such as new speak, lingo, and uh, Things like that, that are temporal, that are um, that doesn't last long. It's a fad. It's not a biblical thing, you know, um, for the most part. And here's an example. I want you to watch this video with me, real quick. Jesus says, "Hey, I need a drink," and the woman thinks he's talking about water, but he's not talking about water. And the woman is perhaps ashamed and offended, and so she goes to push him away. Cause see, that's what she's learned how to do. She's thirsty. So she's learned how to get what she needs from who she thinks can give it. But none of it lasts. She's, she's learned, give me your phone. She's learned how to, how to get what she needs. So she wakes up in the morning thirsty. Did they like my picture? Did they comment on my post? Did they bring me back? Did they follow me back? Thirsty. Somebody shout thirsty. Thirsty. Acting like that's going to fill you. It might for a minute. But there's one problem with this well. Jesus said if you drink of this water, woman, you're going to stay thirsty. And I want you to know that if you put your validation in other people's hands, you will have to go back to them for it. And you can't so make it on his phone. Yeah, yeah, I found it funny that he did like a, a, a mic drop, like made me throw his phone. Or they, uh, you know, pastors always say, don't, you know, they just stop in the middle of the sentence and have a quote, you know. But long story short, the woman at the well with the water, the water is the word, all right? Um, this guy is twisting it to a, um, you know, it has a point to a, a certain extent, but it's not accurate. You know, there's a lot of scriptures that uh breaks down you know what i'm saying uh tells you about the inner man humble yourself you know there's tons of scriptures but people are um women are fickle and people are fickle they love to be entertained so they they need to hear things that they you know hear you know even those paul said you know um you know what i'm saying to to the to the jews i became a jew and things like that you speak their language, but you don't manipulate the scriptures to uh, to suit it for understanding for someone in this time. You can give examples such as parables and things like that, but the scriptures are, are dear and true. All you have to do is speak it and break it down. What he did basically was manipulate it with this time saying basically the thirst it is that's a term not terminology nowadays to be thirsty to to, to to seek attention that scripture had nothing to do with seeking attention you know what i'm saying that scripture has something to do with basically getting the information uh the right way you know what i'm saying getting the right information the right way all right uh and the true information is y'all about shimmy out so at the end of the day that that water that he was saying was a parabolic situation, but he, he was telling her bas basically that water that you're drinking, you have to go and get it again because it's natural water. What I'm telling you is something spiritual, which will be with you forever. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that you know, just I just wanted to bring it out. It was just something weird and 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 something I came across just you know scrolling and, and going through. Uh, you know, we go in and out with it, so. That's it's just showing you how and this. You look at the crowd, look at the people there. They're excited to hear these type of revelations. Nigga woman standing up clapping and all that other um, nonsense, and and they think that this is what it is to uh, get the truth. And when from my experience, when I'm dealing with Jake and I'm giving them that raw, uncut truth, it bores them. You know, it bores them when you're talking about when you're talking about history and you're talking about. Uh, um, this scripture says this, and you read this over there, and, and and you know what I'm saying they want to hear something good, like you know, like the scripture say they want to hear smooth things. They want us to prophesy deceit. 
we're not here to do that. We're here to prophesy the truth with, uh, with all conviction. And, and with truth, uh, we're able to persuade men. Through the terror of the Lord, we're able to persuade men. Because if you're serious about this, we don't have to sugarcoat it and make it taste good or sound good for you to digest it or hear it, you know. So uh, just want to bring that out. With that being said, we're going to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakar Kadash, Shabbat Shalom, the Abansai Apostle, the Elders of GMS, and blessed citation to brothers out there teaching truth and sincerity. Shalom.